Well, it has taken years of planning and $10 million, but the latest addition to Oklahoma's river is now open. Our Colleen Chin shows us why the new Devon Boathouse is so important to our city. The Oklahoma River hasn't always looked this good. At one point, it was just a dream. And this boathouse has more of a high performance function. So Mike Knopf remembers. And walking around a new boathouse for the Oklahoma City University rowing team and Olympic hopefuls to train in is... Well, it's pretty overwhelming. I haven't got to slow down and think about it yet too, too much, but it is pretty exciting. There are finishing touches that remain, but the building is finally open. It has features that no other place in the world has. A self-propelling indoor rowing tank. You get the same feel of, of the stroke in this building, in this room, as you would on the water. And what will be an altitude chamber. Athletes will be able to train at 12,000 feet. And so that allows them to train as though they were in Colorado. Knopf says it is what will further what is already an economic engine for the city. The annual Oklahoma Regatta Festival brings in around $3 million and kicks off again this week. Next year we have the U.S. Masters National Championship and it will bring 1,800 uh, rowers to Oklahoma City and beyond that we have a world championship coming and many other events. OCU's Devon Boathouse is the first of a row of planned university boathouses. It's only the beginning. Of a boathouse district that is expected to draw more people and revenue as time goes on. It's transformational in people's perceptions of, of Oklahoma City and Oklahoma and so it's something that I think everyone can really can really enjoy and, and take advantage of. Colleen Chen, News 9. What a gorgeous facility. And Knopp expects Olympic hopeful athletes to begin training in the facility by the end of the month. Many of them have moved here just for the facility and are working to make the Olympic